Welcome to part two of tips and tricks for your Hypercube 3D printer. Let's begin. When using an end stop switch to home your Z-axis, adjustments to the distance between the hot end nozzle and heated bed are made by the end stop adjustment screw. Anti-clockwise to increase the height and clockwise to reduce the height. But when using a probe to home your Z-axis, height adjustments are made accurately via the LCD display. So why can't we use this method to adjust the height when using an end stop switch as well? On the Hypercube Thingiverse page, there are two marlinconfiguration.h files. One for using an end stop switch and the other when using an inductive probe. Even if you use an end stop switch for your Z-axis, you can still utilise the file called configuration with sensor. This will enable the option to adjust the Z offset via the LCD display. In Marlin, there is one variable that needs changing. The Z min end stop inverting needs to be changed to true. Using this feature is simple. Start with a Z offset as zero, adjust your end stop screw so the end stop is triggered when only a sheet of paper can fit between the nozzle and the bed. Then level each corner. Run a test print. If you need to make adjustments to the homed Z height, you can do so via the LCD display. Click Control, Motion, and adjust the Z offset. If the nozzle is too close to the bed, then make the Z offset a positive value. If the nozzle is too far from the bed, then use a negative value. Finally, select Store Memory to save the change. You'll need to home the Z-axis before this change takes effect. Attaining heated bed temperatures above 90 degrees Celsius on 12 volts can be challenging. Insulating the base of the heated bed is highly recommended and using a heated bed with low PCB resistance is also desirable. The Mark IIb heated bed is rated between 1 and 1 1.2 ohms on the 12 volt phase. The more common Mark III heated bed is rated between 1.4 and 1.6 ohms on the 12 volt phase. As the amount of power we can deliver into the heated bed is proportional to its resistance, our lower resistance bed is better. However, there is another option in the Ohm's Law equation we can adjust. Voltage! These 360 watt power supplies have a voltage adjustment pot. We could crank up the voltage past 12 volts, which would provide the heated bed with more current to attain a hotter surface. The RepRap PCB heat bed wiki suggests 15 volts to achieve 115 degrees Celsius. As I'm using a Mark IIb heat bed with a lower resistance, I'll test this by upping the voltage to 14 volts. You can see the bed can now reach a higher temperature. Be aware, increasing the voltage will affect the entire printer, so check if all the connected equipment can handle a slightly higher voltage. Alternatively, you can add a second power supply rated at 24 volts, just for the heated bed. That would get the heated bed to 100 degrees Celsius in under 2 minutes. <laughs> 